Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Thursday the 17th, but you'll see this on Friday. Um, I'm wearing this same, no wait, you will see this on Thursday. Tomorrow, Friday, you'll see my yarn clue video and I'm wearing the same shirt because I just filmed it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Friday is my yarn clue today. It's No Catch Name. But anyways, this is episode 120, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> so I got a lot of finished objects to share with you guys today and a few um, whips, one that's a new whip and some happy mail and yeah that's probably all <laughs> but yeah i got a lot of finished objects because one of them that was a test pattern i couldn't show you last week i can show you now because it's been released her pattern has and i got um my yarn clue finished item and plus another thing i was designing but then i just i just gave up on it <laughs> i finished it but i don't really feel like routing it out and all that so yeah anyways let's get into it so first i will start with the thing that i was designing and then decided not to put out because <laughs> I think this is cute but I wanted to put more with it and I just I don't feel like I have enough time to design more since it's already spooky season but anyways I just whipped up this little Frankenstein head <laughs> he's cute maybe I'll put him out next year but uh, I was gonna make a set of like a Frankenstein and some other creepy critters but um, I just didn't think I'd have enough time to do it because I procrastinated <laughs> but I still think it's cute and I'll still use him as a decoration but uh, he's just a little Frankenstein head I did use worsted weight yarn but um, there's no pattern for it, so I just whipped that out. <laughs> but the next thing is my gift card holder. This is what I designed for the um, Yarn Clue event. This is going to be available for free on my Facebook group. It's not on there yet. It'll be on there tomorrow. But it'll be a free PDF download on the Facebook group tomorrow, Friday, the September 18th, 2020. <laughs> but it's just a little gift card holder. Super simple and quick. It opens with a button put gift card or money down in but uh yeah made it again with worst of weight yarn <laughs> this is um red heart super saver cherry red and i put some buttons on there it's cute but uh the pattern's not it's not technically out yet it'll be out it'll be available for free on my facebook group tomorrow friday september 18th 2020 <laughs> but that's my yarn clue project and uh yeah okay those are the two that don't have links now the, red, the other three finished objects will have links <laughs> So, I'll show you the blanket first because you all already seen it. I was working on the Feather and Fans Baby Blanket. And it is a free pattern by Alexis Middleton. It'll be linked in the description box. Everything I talk about will be. Um, so, I was making it with Karen Big Cakes. And the colorway is Rainbow Jellies. Uh, I was in this blue section last time you saw it. And then I just finished it up right there. I just made it a size that I thought was a baby blanket size. I think it looks fine. It's really cute really pretty patterns but yeah so I finished that up I'm gonna take that stitch marker off now that it's done I think it's cute and it's gonna go in my gift stash for baby stuff <laughs> for people who have babies Whoop, I just threw it in the floor <laughs> and then with the leftover yarn from that I had a lot left over from the second cake um, I wanted to make it amigurumi to go with that, so I wanted to find some kind of gender neutral amigurumi, so I made an octopus, <laughs> and it's just called Octopus by Caroline Crisco, and it's linked below also, but this is the octopus, so the head is held just one straight yarn, so it's mostly blue, down at the bottom it did turn red, <laughs> right before I closed it, and then all the legs are made with the Karen yarn held double and what I did was with the leftover yarn I split it up in color I rolled all the colors up into separate balls and cut them you know and then I just made sure each leg had different colors so no two legs are the same <laughs> on here and I tried to spread them out good uh, color wise and I think it turned out really cute it's just a little octopus for a gift to go with that blanket or uh, Jesse might end up with it because he's been trying to steal it <laughs> But it's just a cute little octopus. It was really quick and easy. I made it in, you know, like one setting. The uh, the legs are a little painful. <laughs> My fingertips, they kind of hurt because they are um, held double and with a really small hook. So it was kind of annoying, but um, I got it done. I think it's cute. You start with the head and you make the entire body and then the legs are all separate. But he turned out adorable, so I'm not mad at it. <laughs> but that's also a free pattern. I guess I'll throw that down there with the blanket. I'll pick it up in a minute. And then my last finished object is the test pattern that I actually tested for Llama Unraveled, who is also hosting the Yarn Clue. This is her Yarn Clue pattern. And it's called the Santa in the Chimney Stocking. 
and it's a free pattern on her website and I'll have that linked below but here's my version it looks like a brick chimney and the only thing I did different is I didn't do the little Christmas light thingy because I just didn't want to deal with it <laughs> I wanted it simple <laughs> But yeah, I think it's super cute and it is a functional stocking. You can stick stuff, stuff down in it. I guess it goes this way. But uh, he's got his little legs hanging out. I put his legs facing each direction so that it looks like he's going straight down. <laughs> but uh, I liked it. And actually this this looks a little complicated, but it's really not. It's a, a repeat, so it's real easy to. Once you get the groove of it, it just goes quickly. And you make it in like a... Um, you go on rounds, but it's like a tube, and then at the, at the bottom of it, once you're done, you sew this shut just with the yarn that you left. And then the gray up at top. It's really simple. It looks, I like it because it looks complicated and hard, but it was actually a really easy pattern. I enjoyed testing it, and uh, I made it really quickly after she sent me the pattern, so I like it a lot. I think it's cute. <laughs> but this is a real fun pattern. Definitely check it out, and I'll have that linked below also. And it's free, because free is always good. So those are my finished objects. Went through them pretty quick, but it's just because um, our apartments are getting their inspections and they're doing the maintenance on the the air conditioning stuff. What did I do with my one? My blunt? Okay, there it is. <laughs> Anyways, and um, I don't know if they're coming here today or not, so I'm trying to hurry before they do. But I do have three whips, and uh, all left one in the living room. One of them is my Frankenstein treat bag. I haven't touched it since the last time I showed you, so it looks exactly the way I did. <laughs> This, let me put the stitch marker on here. This one is my granny square blanket, which you guys seen last week. It's only grown a little tiny bit since you last saw it. It's got a ball attached to it. Right now it's got a, uh, this isn't buff. This is like darker than buff. It's a tan color yarn attached to it. I'm trying to get it, but it's all tangled up. So last time I was in this blue row. <laughs> So I only added some green and then I started adding this buff on there. So it's not gotten larger too much, but it is still pretty pretty big. It's really wide. It's about as wide as I am tall. And then it's maybe like two feet, a little under two feet tall. But it's coming along. I like it. It's getting there. This is something that I work on while watching TV. Or watching the boys play games or something. I'll just sit on the couch and work on my big old stash of um, scrap balls. Trying to work that tote down. Ah, my yarn is stuck. Okay, I'm having a bad moment right now. <laughs> Put my hook back over there. I'm using a K hook right in the line. J. It's a J hook. Because <laughs> K is green. But uh, yeah, this is all worsted weight, worsted weight acrylic. And... I chained 141 and I'm just doing the granny stitch straight back and forth. That's all I'm doing. But if you want to make a granny stitch blanket yourself, all you got to do is chain uh, any length that is a multiple of three and then plus one for your turn. But um, super simple. Just granny stitch over and over and over and over again. And uh, yeah, that's that. My last whip is a new pattern that I just started today. I started it while I was watching TV with Jesse. And it's called the Pig Lovey Puppet. Because it's a lovey, but it's like a finger puppet. And it's a free pattern. I forgot to write down who it was by. But it'll be linked below. I, I normally write down who it's by, but I forgot. I got the lovey part done. The blanket and the head. <laughs> and then these, two of these holes will be where the arms are. I got one arm done. <laughs> and then the other one. So it's going to be like a puppet lovey. I think that's cute. And I wanted to make the pig one just because I happen to have... One ball of Deborah Norville every day in pink. <laughs> it's called baby pink, I think. Yeah. Laying around. And I only had one ball of it. So I was like, well, I can make a hat or I can make an amigurumi. You know, something small. So I thought I'd make the pig lovey. I found it just looking on Ravelry. And um, I think I'm going to use up almost all of this. And whatever's left will go into my scrap blanket. But I only have this much left. And I got to make the other arm, the ears, and the snout. So um, I should have a little bit left over to put in my blanket. And then, so I gotta make the other arm, the two little ears, the snout, and then I the stitch on the eyes and the the nose holes, <laughs> the nostrils. But it's gonna be really cute, I think. And the person who designed this, which I forgot to write down, has a bunch of them. I was looking on her Ravelry page. 
she had an elephant one and uh, a few other ones I can't remember <laughs> but they're cute they're like you know it'd be cute to play with a little a little baby I think so uh, yeah I just wanted to use it pink and that was the first thing I found that was pink <laughs> so I'm like well there you go I'll make it that but uh, yeah and I'm using an eye hook I was a little worried but you know I'm not stuffing it so I, it doesn't matter how big the holes are with an eye hook so because uh, it's just gonna be your hands up in there so yeah it's cute <laughs> But I think it's going to be really cute when it gets done. I might end up making more of them. Alright, so that's all of my whips and finished objects. I'm trying not to pull out the stitches. I got a lot of stuff just everywhere on my table. And I got some Happy Mail. I'm going to show it to you guys just so I can put it away. I've been holding it for a while because I haven't been able to film a No Kitchen Name episode. But uh, now I am, so I'm going to show it. But I got this fabric from my friend Phyllis. Uh, she bought some of the sheet print and then she bought me some. So these will be bags eventually. It's just a really cute little sheep. And a uh, black background with little pink and white sheep. Super cute. And then she sent some extra fabric for me. And I think I'm just going to use this to make bags for myself. Because I don't really make bags for myself. But she sent uh, some ghost, Cute little Halloween ghosts. And these dancing skeletons. And she said this one just glows in the dark. The skeletons. Supposed to. And then she also sent this one. I'm going to use that to make me some project bags. I might, I think I might make me a big tote bag. <laughs> but I got to get some more batting. Because already all the batting I have is already pre-cut to the size of the bags that I sell. But I want to make me like a bigger one. And then if I like it a lot, I might start making bigger ones to sell. I also got a card from Valerie at Valerie's Cuddly Cat Crochet. And if I can remember, I will link her channel below. But she sent me this card. Just a thank you give you card with a really nice letter. So thank you, Valerie. And then... Uh, I got two sets of bobbins. <laughs> I thought that was funny because I mentioned needing bobbins. So I had two people send me bobbins. Okay, so f the first uh, set that I got was from Alice. She sent it straight from Amazon. Because <laughs> when I got it, I was like, why did I order from Amazon? I couldn't remember and it wasn't me. It was someone else had ordered it and gifted it to me. But uh, thank you so much. I already talked to you on Facebook Messenger. So you already know that I got them and everything. But uh, I appreciate it a lot. And I've already been using them. And then... After I got her package, I ended up getting uh, another package in the mail. And this is from Robin. She sent me a card. This card. Set that right there. She also sent a bunch of stickers. <laughs> I don't want to say it because Jesse's in there. But uh, for me and him. Bunch of real cute ones. And a little thing was in there. So when I opened it, more bobbins. <laughs> and I really do appreciate it. And these are the kind I needed, which is the uh, 15 J's. So now I got a ton of them, which I needed. <laughs> and I appreciate it so much. Um, I have to, I go through bobbins a lot when I'm sewing. And when I got my sewing machine, it came with four, I think. And that's hard to deal with just four when you have multiple colors of thread. You have to wait till one's empty before you can fill it up with another thread. But now I have a ton of them. So thank you guys so much, both of you, for sending me bobbins. I appreciate it a lot. Okay, I had to go get the last happy mail with it over there. But it's a big old box. And this is from Charlene. She sent me some yarn recently. And then she said that she found some more that she didn't want anymore. So she sent it to me also, which I appreciate. But um, no one ever has to send me anything. I do appreciate gifts, of course, because everybody does. But... Um, you know, there's never no pressure. And actually right now, I would appreciate if no one else sends any yarn. Because I'm currently trying to destash some of the yarn that I've had forever. And we're trying to go through our house and like minimalize a lot of things. And we, we're going to be putting a lot of stuff in storage. Because we're hopefully going to be moving next year. But anyways, to this box. So she sent me this little kit. A darn good yarn kit of this little frog guy. What did they say? It just says frog amigurumi. But he's got like really long arms. <laughs> But it's just like that. And then in the box is a bunch of, uh, ugh, there's a bunch of it. A lot of this uh, Lime Brand Landscapes. It's a number four. Is, are they all the same? I think they're different. This one's label doesn't have the color on it. Boardwalk. Those look the same. There's a bunch of those ones. I think those are all the same. Yeah. But this one's darker. 
This one's called Rainforest. There's three. Let's see here. There's another Rainforest. And then there are two more. Three more. Boardwalk. It's <laughs> a lot. And then these yarns. I can't tell if these are all the same. Oh, wait, there's another Boardwalk. This one is a Yarn V Katarina. Did I use that? Color. This is Fairview Cottage. This one is Sunday, Sunday something, promenade. This one is the Fairview Cottage again. This is that one. So there's two of those ones. And looks like there's three of Tangled Topia. <laughs> They're all really pretty. Well, thank you so much for all these. I have no idea what I'm going to make with these. I've never used any of this yarn. Landscapes. I've seen other people use it. It kind of reminds me of Unforgettable by Red Heart. I have used that. So, um, it looks similar to that. I don't know. That's a lot, though. I have to figure out what to do with all that uh, boardwalk colorway. I'm never going to get these back in the box the way they were. <laughs> but uh, i got to find somewhere to put these and figure out something to make with them. But thank you so much for... Um, Everything you sent me recently. <laughs> ah, see, I can't get it back in the box the way it was. Oh, that's so funny how that always happens. You can't ever get it to go back, back the way it was. Anyways, let's move that. Yeah, I think that's everything. I feel like this episode is rushed, but it's just because I'm expecting them people to come here and I don't want to be in the middle of it. So now I need to clean all this stuff up and then I'm going to go finish the pig. Because I want to finish it. I'll probably turn on an episode of uh, Call the Midwife and finish that little pig up. And I do have some more things I want to start soon. But I'm trying really hard to focus on organizing our house because we've let it get cluttered and clutter stresses me out. That's one thing that triggers my anxiety is clutter. And uh, so Devin, he's off this weekend. We're going to, we're going to go rent a storage unit because there's one right down the road from us. And uh, we're going to store a bunch of stuff that we don't really need here in hopes that we will be getting a house next year and then it'll be easier to move because a lot of stuff will already be packed. That's like the idea. <laughs> Plus I got a lot of stuff that we're going to be donating to my mom. Uh, her church is having a fundraiser in early October. They have like a big yard sale thing. So everything that is worth uh, selling, we're going to give to her to uh, give to her church to sell. <laughs> and then, you know, throw away stuff that's not worth it. And uh, so we're going to do a big overhaul this weekend, hopefully. <laughs> I'm hoping that it works out the way it should. And I don't get distracted by too many things. But yeah, so today I've been doing a little laundry and I'm still packaging up orders. I still got a bunch here that I got iron labels in. I was waiting for some more to come in the mail. So I gotta get them all out. I'm dropping off all the orders on Saturday, which is what I said <laughs> that I would drop off all the orders on Saturday. And uh, they should all be done. I think there's a few bags left in the shop and uh, there'll be a new shop update probably, probably in the 1st of October. Cause I'm not in a rush. <laughs> I want to take just a break from sewing and stuff. And, uh, yeah, I guess that's about it right now. I can't think of anything else. I will see you guys in the next video, I guess. Bye, guys.